Hi everybody, I'm Paxesh, and welcome back to Paxesh Plays Pokemon Gold Nuzlocke. I've decided just to go to the gym, because... whatever. Let me see if you're good enough to face Faulkner with his level 9 Pidgeotto. Birdkeeper Abe. Birdkeeper Abe. I don't know if it's the American or the Japanese. I don't know why I put such a weird emphasis on Japanese when I said it just now. Never mind. Okay, good. Yay, and good. Okay. Make it sure. Woo! Alright, well, <laughs> time to go back to the Pokemon Center because I ain't taking a risk for shit. It's tedious, but it's safe. Can't be too careful in a Nuzlocke. Oh, it like hurt me to go that high. It wasn't even that high. I'm just complaining. Keyword is guts. Those here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. And we're doing a pretty shitty job of it, actually, considering uh, we don't really have anything above level 10. Birdkeeper Rod. Oh yeah, you're level 7 Pidgey. You're a real fucking bird master. I wonder if that's going to be going on the entire time I record today. And since I have very limited windows in which I can record, I can't really wait for them to finish. So everything I record today is probably just going to have a lawnmower in the background. Yes, we will change back to fly height. Oh no, another level 7 Vigi. Whatever will I do? <sighs> we oh boy okay gah all right well back to the pokemon center before we go and fight falconer with with his fucking Pidgeotto. Oh my god, what a birdmaster. Alright, may maybe Zeke will see some action this time. I don't want Seb to be doing all the work. Hello. With your swoopy early 2000s hair. I'm Falconer, the violet Pokemon gym leader. People say you can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon, even though it's totally true. I'll show you the real power of the magnificent bird Pokemon. Is it an insult to say, like, a fact that flying is weak against electric? Like, that's just a fact, Faulkner. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll let Zeke take out the first Pidgey. Show you what a real Pokemon master can do.
Good job. We're rewatching um, reruns of Adam Ruins Everything. This is just a non sequitur because I have nothing else to say. <laughs> and there's a bit in the um, like the what is it like Hollywood or the entertainment industry? I, I forget like the general thing he was rooting, but like one of the insults they came up with for him when, was you look like a Pidgeotto who went to grad school. <laughs> Anyway, you should watch Adam Ruins Everything. It's a great show. Whee! Level 7, you're almost catching up! Who would have thunk? Darn, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Alright, take this. Like, he didn't even train them. He's just like, his dad was like, here. Here's your shit Pidgeotto. It's the official Pokemon League Zephyr badge. Woo, I received the Zephyr Badge, which is one word for some reason. Zephyr Badge raises the attack power of Pokemon. It also enables Pokemon to use Flash if they have it at any time. Here, take this. A TM you'll probably never use. Using a TM Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act, TM can be used only once. Mud Slap. Yeah, I'm not gonna use that. Probably. We'll see. Again, I'm not a very- fuck, there we go. I'm not a very tactical player. Uh, what do you want, Prof Elm? Paxush, we discovered something about the egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon Center in Violet City. Could you talk to him? Uh, fucking guess, I wasn't doing anything else. I mean, I was heading there anyway. Hello? Paxash, long time no see. It's been like- an hour in game time. Raphael asked me to find you. He has another favor to ask. Would you take the Pokemon egg? I sure would. We discovered that a Pokemon will not hatch until it grows in the egg. It also be with other active Pokemon to hatch. Pokemon, Pokemon. Paxash, you're the only person we can rely on. You're the only one who answers their phone. Please call Raphael when that egg hatches. Doesn't he call you when the egg hatches? I could be wrong. There's a high chance I'm wrong. Alright. Save. Whee! Okay. Onward! I forgot what this building is. Earl's Pokemon Academy. Was this a... No. Okay, this isn't a place I can do anything. This is a place where fucking kids are on their Game Boys for a minute. That's what I did when I was in elementary school, so... It's fine. My elementary school let us bring our Game Boys and, uh, and play them at recess. What is this place again? Sprout Tower. Oh, yeah! I think there's a thing in here, isn't there? Yeah. Isn't there? Bell sprout over a hundred feet tall. People say that it became the center pillar here. See the pillar shaking? People are training upstairs. Sprout Tower was built long ago as a place for Pokemon training. Um, only if you reach the top will you obtain an HM. Oh, that's right. I need to go in here. Hello, old man. How hard we battle, the tower will stand strong. I feel like there should have been a mwahaha at the end of that. Sage Nico wants to battle. I knew a guy named Nico. Speaking of elementary school, he was my brother's friend. No idea what the fuck happened to him after, but uh, he's definitely a person that existed. I don't really talk to anybody from elementary school anymore. <laughs> Most of my friends now I met in high school because we moved uh, to a different state when I first started high school. So I talked to 
So like my association with people from before that is ex like exclusively on Facebook at this point. Yes, we'll change Pokemon. And back. Just annoy the shit out of the other trainers. Why did you switch if you were just going to switch back? It's a strategy. Shut up. Because <laughs> I don't get experience shared this early in the game. That's why. Oh, that was my favorite thing about Sun and Moon, I think. That l just immediately you can share the experience. Because, like, why beat around it? <laughs> like, why, why make it more difficult? You're d you've just made it more tedious. Obviously, this is the strategy that you go with for your low levels. It, it just fucking wastes time. So. Yeah. I'm glad there was a feature. I know a lot of people thought Sun and Moon was too easy, but I, I liked how easy it was. It's Pokemon. It doesn't have to be difficult. You can make it difficult yourself with uh, your competitive play, but like, it doesn't have to be difficult in the base game. Yay. <laughs> While I was ranting. I fought hard, but I'm too weak. You sure are! I should probably stop talking so big, because uh, I'm inevitably gonna fuck up <laughs> and lose somebody. Alright. Well, that'll be the end of this one. I think we'll probably get through the rest of Sprout Tower on the next one. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.